one of this recipe happens before Alex gets home. Put it go. It's gone. What we're doing is pork belly crumbed in panko breadcrumbs that's been marinated in a little bit of stuff. And I'm gonna do that marinating now and we cook the pork belly for an hour before we do the crumbing. So that's what we're doing now, is we are preparing the pork belly to go in the oven for one hour. I went to the butcher and I got two bits of pork belly and they're roughly around a kilo each, okay? So they cut the bones off and they took the rind off for me. Now, did I say that they could keep those things? No fucking way. So I've got the skin here, the rind, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to salt them, oil them, and belt them in the oven with the pork belly and make crackling like you won't believe. I've created a little mix here, and that consists of rice wine vinegar, mirin, and tomorrow, we just pour it over the top. Nice and evenly, make sure you coat it all. And then you cover it with foil. I've had the oven heated up, 200 degrees. In the oven, guys, we're back in two seconds. One hour. Right, the crackling. The thing is, with pork skin, the way that you get it to go all crunchy and super, super, super crackling is it needs to be dry. So if you get your pork skin and it feels moist, then put it in the fridge. I'm going to dry it out even a bit more by salting it. You need a butcher that scores your pork skin. If they don't do it, get a new one. I'm rubbing it in. See, I'm rubbing it. Rub, 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 rub. We're rubbing. Don't be scared of the salt. Just go for it. And a bit of oil. And then again, rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. That is going in the oven as well, like that, for one hour, one hour. And you can just check it. And if it gets to that point where you think, wow, that looks brown enough, take it out. Don't fucking just say, well, one hour, though she said one hour, leave it in for one hour. In that goes. And that, my friends, is it for an hour. I'll see you at the other end. <laughs> now Alex is home. She's behind the camera. There she is, looking so happy. Look at that face. <laughs> and the pork has come out of the oven. That's what it looks like. You don't want to be eating it at this point. It's not that great. It's a little tough, just saying. This is the sauce that this marinated in, and I've just poured it into a jug. And whilst I'm doing what I need to do with this, I'm going to pour this into a saucepan and I'm gonna turn it on a low heat and I'm going to let that simmer away and thicken a little so that in the end we can pour it over the pork. What we do next is this. We get the pork belly and we are going to cut it up into pieces. You don't want them too big because we are going to coat them in panko breadcrumbs and fry them. So we wanna try and make them all that same size. What size would you say they are? What, how many centimeters is that? Seven? Seven centimetres. All right, like five then. With? Like this way. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm meaning that way. No, that's like, One, that would be two. two and a half. Okay. Wait, don't go in my room. Wait, go in, don't ah, mommy, ah. Don't go in her room, she's a pig. I'm not a pig, I'm just messy. Ah. Mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clean it. On your dancer, there it goes with the dust then. Mamma mia! Back to business. My gloves match my shirt. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. Flour, two eggs, and panko breadcrumbs. We take the little bit of pork like this, and we press it in the flour. We coat it in the egg, and we press in the panko. 
and then we repeat. So we press it in the flour, we put it in the egg, and we press it in the pecker. And then we come back in half an hour when it's all done. <laughs> all done in my walkie walk. I put vegetable oil. Gotta let it get warm. When it starts going. <laughs> we know it's ready. Yeah. And what's this just a bit cold? Panko crumbed pork belly. With a dressing. Right. Oh yeah. See that? Mm -hmm. Remember that it's already cooked. Mm -hmm. So really all you're doing is frying the outside. Yeah, browning the outside. Okay, look at that. They are golden and beautiful. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God. You know what? You can't do this in a fry pan. It, for whatever reason, this color and this situation only happens in a fucking wok. Here in that pot is that reduced sauce. What are you going to use that for? I'm going to pour that over the top of these once I serve them. I'm going to get a plate of them ready for our hero dish. I'll be right back. Look at that. That is crispy, buttery Brussels sprouts with the panko crumbed pork belly with a little bit of saucy yumminess on the top. Bon appetito! Stop the press! Oh my God, you know what I did? I fucked up big time because I didn't freaking show the pork crackling. So now I had to go back and do it again so I could show you. So here it is. Ow, ow, ow. This is what it looks like. Look at this. Hear that crunch? That. My friends, is perfect pork crackling right there.